Hey, this is David from Ovation. In this video, I want to show you a really awesome feature in Chrome DevTools. So we hit it up and we go to this small mobile icon, toggle device mode, and now we can pretty much emulate any physical device out there. Anything from iPhones to Galaxy to Blackberry. And it's so awesome because you can use it just like a physical device. You can scroll with your mouse, you can click on links, you can use the menus, it's very smooth. And I have tested this up against a physical iPhone 4, 5, and 6, and it seems to be pretty much uh, pixel perfect. So you can count on this working, at least on those devices. I don't know about every other device, obviously. But here's how this can be very useful. You know, as web designers and, and front-end developers, we sometimes tend to overlook overlook the fact that not everybody have a, a big monitor or an iPhone 6 or an iPad. And the problem here is that if you use your own device and you have an iPhone 6 uh, and, or you use your browser to measure uh, how your site looks on various devices like so on a Mac, the problem is that the minimum width of a browser on a Mac for whatever reason is 400 pixels. As you can see, I'll get this down to the bottom and let's toggle this off. And now, as you can see, it is minimum of 400 pixels in width. And the problem is that iPhone 4 and 5 are around 320 pixels in width. So this is not an accurate uh, depiction of how your site looks on those smaller devices. So I made this mistake and uh, the problem was that the font size on my client's site was way too big on iPhone 4 and 5, but it looked fine on iPhone 6 and 6S and all the way up to you know, the big screens. So uh, yeah, uh, another thing is uh, if you toggle this on and you have the, uh, you know, the panel here at the bottom, it doesn't really work because you have to get this way down in order to see what's going on. So I recommend that you just align it to the right like so and it works perfectly. Now, you can of course also use the uh, inspect element tool. So if you want to live adjust some stuff, uh, anything really in CSS, you can do that. Uh, like for instance, the line height, if you want to change that, or the font size, like so. Really, really awesome tool. If this has been helpful, let me know down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you want more of this stuff in the future.